So, future projects. Uh, Billy Park is 10 years old. We are getting old, and so that means that the maintenance um, is going to be more common and more likely more expensive. Um, one of the things that we like to do is resurface the tennis courts. Even though we had them um, surface clean this year, there are some cracks, and um, they need to be replaced. It, the, the court needs to be resurfaced and replaced so that it looks nice again. It's it's no need to having a beautiful neighborhood such as ours and then someone wants to buy a home in our neighborhood, they go to tennis courts and it just looks junky. It makes the whole neighborhood look junky. Uh, we want to renew the pool house exterior. I, I would guess that you guys have dr dr uh, driven past it and you can kind of see there's some mold up there and some of the paint, you know, could be worked on. Um, the next thing is Jim. He's going to present our 2009 budget. <laughs> so, the most exciting so, so guys, our, our, our mission with, uh, with managing the, uh, the funds for the homeowners association is uh, fiscal transparency. So what I mean by that is that we want to handle the funds in a way that is visible to you guys, at, at, you know, as visible as you want it to be. I mean, we, we, we manage the money, uh, the funds that we, we keep for you guys, just like it was our own money. And, you know, actually it is. It's all our money. And uh, I think everybody on the board is committed to uh, spending money wisely. There's nobody that, that rashly wants to, you know, go out and, and do something uh, uh, ridiculous with the, with the funds. So uh, that's one commitment I'll make to you right now. Uh, you know, with, with, with the funds that we, we get, we, we keep the neighborhood up and the contract services, et cetera, that we discussed earlier. Next slide, please. So talk about how the budget's derived. You know, Bentley Park has 145 homes, uh, and with, uh, you know, an assessment of $500 per household, that gives us a potential income each year of about $72,500. Deduct $500 for the, the, the lucky homeowner that's going to walk out of here free from that tonight. So uh, assessments went up this year. They went up from 485 to 500 That was a 3% increase. And why did that happen, you know? Uh, well, you know, as, as Heather was just saying, the, 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 uh, the subdivision as a whole is aging. Maintenance has become a lot more common. I mean, just over the last year, we've had uh, pipes rupture in the pool house that, that, were, that were very expensive to repair. Water heater went out. Uh, I mean, we could go on and on. So it's just getting more expensive to maintain the subdivision. In addition, uh, services are, are becoming more expensive, uh, typically. So uh, we, we, we sat and debated over it, and uh, we decided as a board that in order to keep the capital reserves that we, we worked so hard to set up for Bentley Park and to fund the, uh, the level of services and, and maintenance that we have, we needed to uh, enact this, in, this, this modest increase of uh, 50, $15 per household. Now, uh, we talked a little bit about that capital reserve. We worked hard to get that in place. And what that is, that's a safeguard for you against special assessments. So if something, uh, you know, out of the ordinary happens and it, and it ends up uh, costing a whole bunch of money, typically uh, what most homeowners associations that are doing that are running with no capital reserve would do, so they'll do a special assessment. And they'll just divide the uh, amount of the uh, across uh, homes. We don't think that's fair and uh, not a good way to manage. So. We, we have this capital reserve to uh, guard against that. Uh, now the $500, our, uh, Jerry did some research and analysis for us, and, and comparable homes in the Smyrna area with swim and tennis and about the same size, we're either at that level or below them. So we're, we're right in the, uh, I guess you would say, the, uh, the, 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 the medium of, of, of where, where comparable uh, homeowners associations are with their assessments, annual assessments. And uh, you know this was this raise this year was the first in like five or six years I think guys right? No. So we had a huge one for forty five months. That was, about that was like ago. five no yeah. five or six years ago. Yeah, there was there was a large one. Right? Five or six so years. That was that lawsuit thing. The offense yeah, lawsuit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So sometimes yeah. 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 So uh, through aggressive cost control and, and and as we talked about earlier, uh, negotiating our, our service contracts, we've been able to keep our. Uh, our costs under control. So last year we talked a little bit about uh, building our capital reserves. Currently we have no less than 75k in capital reserves, so that's great. And we keep that money in a higher uh, interest-bearing uh, money market account so that we get a good return on it. Uh, the management company again, Jerry, has recommended to us uh, homeowner association or a neighborhood of our size with our amenities. 
needs to have about 75 to 100K in capital reserves. So that's what we're shooting for, is to maintain somewhere in that, that bandwidth there. Uh, guys, we've talked a little bit about how we're going to spend the funds in, in, uh, in 2009. This pie chart kind of breaks out by percentage where, where our, our uh, budget is spent each year. As you can see, the majority of it goes to our uh, contracted maintenance services. For example, uh, landscaping services is, is the top at uh, 14,000. That includes the area around the pool, the common area there, the common area in front of the subdivision up and down Concord Road. That's maintained by Kerry and White Oak. So thank you for that, Kerry. Management fees, the second line there, that's, that's uh, Heritage, uh, Heritage, uh, who's, who's done such a great job for us this year in uh, Jerry O'Mara. Uh, utilities includes uh, water, electricity for the uh, street lights, water for the sprinklers, water for the pool and the bathrooms. And that's our third. And this year we hope to, to add about uh, 10,000 to capital reserves. And that's based on uh, not having any, any extraordinary uh, maintenance costs like we did last year. With the, with the subdivision, which you know, which could happen, and, and in which case we we probably have less to go uh, to go into capital reserves this year. So, uh, in addition, we have eleven thousand budgeted for projects, and we'll talk about that in a second. But the rest of this is kind of self-explanatory. Uh, I think we can post this on the website, right, so that you guys can have a look at it uh, later, unless unless there's any specific questions about budgeted items. Right. What's the management fees? What did they do for us for about? Okay, that's a good that's a good question. You want me to take that one, Jerry? Yeah, you take it. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Heritage takes care of all our bill paying, taxes, insurance. They send out the assessments. They collect. They do the violation letters for us. So, uh, so they, yeah. So they basically, you know, if, if we didn't have them, we need somebody basically, you know, to to, to be full time, at least full time to. Uh, to take care of all the work that they do for us. So, and uh, besides going on the landscaping, right, right. You know, I mean, because I mean, so we're paying yeah. this high amount for right. nothing that we're getting. You know, that no one is satisfied with. Right. You know, yeah. and you know. I mean, I, I would say why do not fairly Well, I think some of us are satisfied. Yeah, yeah. And having to deal with all this. Yeah. I, I am very satisfied. So <laughs> <laughs> to say no one is not. A okay. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And, and, and you know, <laughs> and, and I'll tell you, yes. I'll tell you when John was president, I, I gave him heartburn about the landscaping fee, and that you know, I was like, that's way too high. But I'll tell you what we did. We 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 budgeted. It. We we got okay, five okay. different bids, and this was. If not the lowest bid, it was the best value for the community. That's that's what it costs. That's what it costs to get professionals to do it. Unfortunately, for the, for the amount of uh, common area we have. So, so uh, 2009 projects. The fence project came in at 7,500 dollars actual, and that included uh, you know replacing a lot of wood because the fence was rotted, significantly rotted, and also uh, pressure washing and staining it. Looks very nice. Uh, take a look when you you go by. We enable key locks for the uh, for the pool, tennis court, and the bathrooms. That's 1,500 estimated. I say estimated because we haven't got the invoice yet, but I think that's right on the money there. And professional key cleaning of the tennis courts for the pressure washer was uh, 750. So that's uh, that's pretty much what we uh, what we budgeted. We have a little bit left over there for for uh, projects that come up. And at this point, I'll turn it over to Louis for uh, ACC. Okay. 